Department of Economics and Commerce have been conducting national and international seminar for the last four years. This is the first time in the history of Goenka College of Commerce we could collaborate with this heritage institute. So what he said, he is a great international trade uh, expert. He said, we, we, are, we are always lamenting that we don't produce enough apples in our mango gardens. But what do we don't do? That we don't do enough to really produce our mangoes as well. So what do we need? We need more fertilizers on the roots of our mango trees. And then we can have more mangoes, we can sell them, and with that surplus we can buy apples as well. So we need to really look into our own strengths and also overcome the weaknesses to become global trade partners. You know, in India and many poor countries and everywhere possibly, the poorer, the poorer people are lenders and the richer people are borrowers. Because the poor people with their 50,000 rupees, 40,000 rupees goes to the bank for a fixed deposit. Then all these fixed deposits are amassed together to have 50 crores, 100 crores, and then only 5% of big business hire, get loans. They never use their own money. So the story of lending in a poor market, borrowing and lending, is how the poor are the lenders and depositors and the rich are the borrowers. But if you eliminate all kinds of distortions and think or believe that you are in an ideal world, you would not like to introduce financing textbooks. And that's precisely what the predecessors have done. And I think that was, now it's too late to entertain those, so you have to be on your guard and try to question why finance is not there in our textbook. In particularly in the textbook on international.